I want I have this battery operated hand torch that I keep in my house for various tasks and I have few problems with it that I'll try to solve today. The torch itself is very nice. It has a nice focus light in the front, a work light on the side. It can be mounted to a metal surface with the magnet on the bottom and it can also be hanged from above if needed. The first problem that I have with it is the fact that this torch works with three AA batteries and any time that I need it, it's most certainly empty and I don't have replacement cells. I have few rechargeable AA batteries, but they are a bit too wide to fit into the slot. Problem number two is that once the AA battery starts to run out and their voltage decreases, the light starts to get dimmer and dimmer to a point that is barely usable. Inside there are no electronics to increase the voltage that gets to the LED, so as the battery voltage decreases, they get dimmer. And finally, the bottom hatch that closes the batteries inside has a terrible contact that very often flickers the light to a point that it sometimes gave up using on it. So, to solve all of this, I'll be installing a salvaged lithium ion battery inside the torch so that it can be charged through USB with a TP4056 module. I'll make sure to solder all of the contacts inside so there is no bad connection anymore. And finally, I'll add an MT3608 step up board converter to the output so the LEDs are constantly lit with 4.5 volts, as if they are connected to fresh AA batteries. To start this assembly, there is a screw behind the hook that I first removed, and I then used a small knife and a screwdriver to pry open the top plastic cover. This exposed the front LEDs and the reflector for them, but it also exposed two more screws that attach the front of the torch with the sliding center piece. Once they were removed, I could slide the centerpiece back to remove it from the outside cover. By removing two more screws, I was able to completely separate the centerpiece and gain access to the cavity inside where the batteries are placed. The batteries that I want to use for the torch are removed from an old laptop battery and they came in packs of two parallel 18650 cells. I wanted to use both of them so I can get a lot more use time out of the torch so I started removing pieces of the support plastic where the AA cells used to live. I started this by first using my snips, but I quickly realized that I'll need a lot more space inside, so I moved to using my rotary tool with a diamond disc to grind off the plastic bit by bit. Eventually, I ended up removing the support rails completely to the outer shell, and this made enough clearance for the 18650 cell to sit flush with the half. At this point, I also realized that fitting two cells as, as originally planned, together with the two modules for the charging and the stepping up of the voltage, will be almost impossible. So, I continued with using just one of the cells. While grinding the support rails, I've also made a small notch close to where the access hatch is on the bottom of the torch, and I've installed the TP4056 charger board inside for the lithium cell. This board has built-in overcharge and over-discharge protections for the cell, so I can safely charge and discharge the battery inside through USB. The board has four connections, where on the ones marked as B plus and B minus, I've soldered the appropriate battery contacts. The other two contacts, out plus and out minus, are soldered to the step up board where I've soldered out plus to the V in plus and I've added two pieces of longer wires to the out plus and V in minus pads. These wires will be connected to an extra switch that I'm adding to the top of the torch so that through it I can cut the voltage coming to the step up board. The first reason why I'm doing this is to prevent any electricity to be wasted inside the step up board while the torch is off as its switch is only wired afterward and it switches between the front LEDs and the side work light. This is really a very small current that would have been wasted, but still, I don't want to find myself with an empty battery once I need the light. Additionally, the original switch is a bit annoying, since you need to press several times on every use to get the light that you want, and by adding the extra switch, I can select the light that I want and use this other switch to turn it on or off directly. Sorry for the interruption, this is Bill editing this video, 
I noticed that I've missed an important information from my script when I was doing the voiceover. And that is that you need to connect and test the output voltage of the MT3608 uh, board before you connect it to your electronics. Uh, mine was set to 19 volts and I had to adjust that output using the potentiometer that's on the board before I connected it to the uh, LEDs on the torch. If you don't do that, then you're risking burning off uh, whatever you connect to the output of the boost converter. So be sure to double check its output with the multimeter before you connect it to your electronics. Now back to the video. As a final step, I've added two wires from the output pads of the step up board to the original wires that were connected to the battery terminals, making sure that I keep the same polarity as before. Check out the link in the video description for the full schematic. Now, with all of the electronics completed, I've added hot glue to all of the boards and the battery so everything is held nicely in place when it's closed up. I first returned the work light half to the centerpiece, secured it with screws and slid it up through the outer handle from the back. I've then pushed the switch wires and the front LEDs through the centerpiece and attached the LEDs to the reflector. The centerpiece could then be screwed together to the work light and I've passed the switch wires through the hole I made earlier and the entire front cover got snapped back in place as it was originally mounted. I've left a bit of extra wires sticking from the hole and I've soldered the switch to them. To mount the switch, I've used a small amount of hot glue just to secure it as it doesn't need much since it's mounted from the outside. As a final step, I've added the back cover with the magnet and I can call this project as completed. This modification took only a few hours to make, but I'm sure that with that I now have a much nicer light to work with. Technically it is still the same light with the same output as before, but now I can quickly connect it to charge once it is empty without looking for new batteries and the light output is always the same till the very second that it turns off. I haven't tested it to see how long it will last with just the single 18650 cell, but I'll make sure to update you on that over Twitter once I know. So go follow me there to find out how long it will last and if you want to see more projects like this then be sure to subscribe and ring the bell. If you want to support the channel then head out to Patreon where you can choose one of the perks that I offer and help me continue making these videos. Cheers and thanks for watching.